Hey there, Libra. Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. All right, so this week we have um, a new deck. We're, we're dealing with the Arcana of Astrology deck, which is brand new, just published in 2021. So it has even more information than um, most of the astrology guides that I've gotten thus far. So I really love it. Um, and if you stay to the end, Libra, we're going to read your astrology card. Okay. And first we're going to start with an archangel card. So I also got this beautiful deck. It has all these symbols on it. You can't really see it, but I am going to get a good picture of it at some point so that you can check it out. Um, I'm really, really wondering what this symbolism is on the back because there's two sections of symbols, just like on the back of this here card right there. So as you can see, it has the planetary symbol right next to the... Virgo or whatever your sign is. Um, your sign is Libra. Sorry, I was holding your card, trying to pay attention to what's going on here, and everything fell over. Okay, Libra. Let's go ahead and pull an Archangel card for you. Should we just open to a page? I'm going to read it straight out of the book anyway. No, we should shuffle it. We should shuffle it. So just look at the beautiful colors mm, on these cards. If you really want to see each and every one of these cards, you can go to the Aquarius video. I have some siblings who are both Aquarius and I know that they will love these beautiful positive imagery. So I went through every single um, card for the Aquarius video. If you'd like to scroll yoli yoli on over there and check it out. I might have to search for it because it's, um, I've noticed that if I post 12 videos at a time, the first one I record always is out of reach for the viewer. Just for some reason, it's right past that long section. So sometimes I have to go in and just make sure that, you know, it's available. And when I go in and look, it's not, it's not there. You have to like go, I don't know. That's why I make the, that's why I make the playlists. If you ever can't find something, um, then it's probably because it's either not posted yet or um, it's the first one that I posted. And therefore you have to like go in. I don't know how to get to it. You know, if you're coming, like I'll go on my, um, someone, my husband's like, I can't find my video. And I'm like, I don't know, look, here it is. <laughs> All right. So let's pull a card for you. And let's Barakael. All right. Barak. Barakael. Kind of reminds you of Barack Obama, doesn't it? Okay. So let's take a look for Barakael. I can't even say it right. I hope I'm saying it right. What beautiful wings. Okay. So this looks like some kind of Catholic angel or associated with Mexico because it has a lot of like this looks like the temple from this quite possibly could be um let's read it I can't wait to read it it's number 14 if that has any significance to you numero 14 wait how do you say 14 24 um Okay, 
Baracchio fulfillment. Beautiful Baracchio's name means blessings of God. She is an archangel charged with bringing happiness to our life, to our family life, and overseeing matrimony and parenthood. Like the got Molly, Guatemalan woman, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that right. <laughs> On her card, she is often shown carrying a basket of bread and a staff of life to symbolize fertility and abundance. She helps us to provide ourselves for ourselves and to find the right partner or have children with if so, if you so desire. Baranchio will help to strengthen all of our family and close relationships. Also known as the angel of lightning, lightning, Baranchio is granted blessings for your good deeds swiftly and she brings you success, especially in games of change. She is sometimes a good life and a white rose is symbolic of her blessings. Barakiel is light-hearted and um, a light-hearted angel. She inspires laughter when you call upon her. She reminds us that despite the hardships of life, we can find hidden blessings everywhere. So the message is, it's time to bring some lightness back into your life and relationships. Put any difficult conversations or decisions aside for a while and enjoy time with your family and loved ones. How to meet Barakiel. Try this prayer for Barakiel's help. Dearest Barachif, may your love, support, and growth, blessings, and abundance in our lives and Dissolve any harm to ourselves. Our, our grow, um, grow blessings and abundance in our lives and dissolve any harm to ourselves, our families, our loved ones, and children. Help us to grow richer in love, wisdom, and fulfillment every day. Imagine that you are being engulfed by this angel's rays. Soak up the beautiful light see this flame surrounding your family home and amplifying feelings of contentment the next section is called diamond fire alchemy so if you'd like to um, hear about that leave me a comment and let me know and I might make an additional video for that Oh my gosh, didn't they just say also known as the Angel of Lightning? So I just heard thunder. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and read your card and wrap it up. <laughs> Dang, I was going to go give blood today. Um, hmm. They are in desperately need of O positive blood in Lucy Dale. Somebody go give blood. Um, as soon as I get down there, I'm going to go give blood. I'm going to run on down there right now and give some blood. As soon as I get done with this. Hopefully I can make it before the, the thunder. Alright, Libra. Let's read your card. Uh, we got the Arcana of Astrology. And... Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, okay, Libra. Let me see. Here we are. I found you right after Virgo. Just a few days after me. Libra. The Scales, September 23rd to October 22nd. I'm going to try to move a little closer so I'm not so awkward. Okay. 
the planetary ruler is Venus, which is all about love. The house is the seventh house. The element is air. The modality is cardinal. And the opposite zodiac is Aries. The symbols are the scales, knife, lace, silver, white roses, light, pink, and cream stones. In astrology, the second sign is ruled by Venus, and the seventh in the zodiac is the air sign Libra. Known for the charming disposition and appreciation for intellectual stimulation, this sign can easily fit into any social situation. Libras have the ability to see both sides of any debate or argument, which allows them to be pretty decent. They are also prone to playing the devil's advocate just for the sake of it. And they can end up hurting those they care about unintentionally. The blend of confidence, beauty, and wit is delicate balancing act, but Libra seems to achieve it with ease in a way that other signs cannot. This quickly spirals into arrogance and it would serve Libra well to accept the occasional dose of humility. All right, y'all. Um, in a reading, it says Libra is a gentle reminder to handle conflicts, handle conflicts, Hold on, y'all. I'm tearing up my brand new card here with my elbow. All right. Um, Libra is a gentle reminder to handle conflicts with grace and poise. Sometimes you have to work with someone that you aren't a fan of. But you keep an open mind. You may find that you share the same goals or, at the very least, are able to work together amicably. Amicably. A lot of astrology is about balancing your needs with your wants, sorting out this energy from that energy. But with the Libra scales, it is even more crucial that you weigh both sides of the situation thoroughly. Now is not the time to, for, rational, for rash decisions. All right, so that thunder is really coming down. It's not raining yet, but the thunder's coming down. All right, Libra, I'm going to have to cut this reading a little bit short. I usually do a lot, a lot of cards, but it is getting real gnarly out there. And in the south, you got to be prepared for the power to go out for a long time. Okay, so thank you so much for always liking, sharing, subscribing, and um, I appreciate it very much. Please be sure to um, go to my Patreon channel if you'd like to enter to win. I have the Tarot Illuminati deck as well as the Angel Kindness cards. And I'm going to be giving away both of these decks. And the art is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, as you can see, the angel eyes that she has are so pretty in every one of these cards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see i got my angel eyes on too now all right so if you do indeed love this deck um this is the this is not the same angel deck now i want to show you this is not this is not the same deck that i just bought this is my older angel deck but i like the cards because for beginners, they have words right on them. And that's that's just like how I learn. Um, I always take the card deck that I just bought. And then I'll make a cheat sheet out of it. Like, with all the information on it. So, for example, you know, if it's got the angel Metatron here as the fool... Or Aquarius at the top. All right. And anywho, I just read a bunch of stuff and, you know, kind of incorporate it all together. But um, that's kind of my little cheat sheet. Really, it's a cheat sheet for learning. So I'm going to try to publish some learner's decks, then have all the words on them. 
like in the different colors and everything because I feel like the love reading is the only thing anybody gives a crap about they don't care about the upright the reversed they don't care about the planets but it helps you to remember it if you know that so I'm a visual learner so that's why I'm making those if you are a tarot card reader and you feel like this would be helpful for you um, especially if you're a noob uh, please leave me a comment and let me know and I and if anyone has you know any other knowledge besides just the planets the angels and um, you know the cardinal fixed mutable earth fire elements you know that have anything to do with these signs please leave me a comment and let me know so I can inculcate those into my deck thank you so much for all your support and come back and see me next week